it's very interesting because it's like a Manhattan project that's going on right now. It's like there's this race to the bomb and everybody's involved in it. And it's just about creating a superpower and it's cre about creating a, a digital intelligence that's far superior to human beings. And who gets it first it has massive implications in, in, in terms of like controlling the world. But I think ultimately you won't be able to control it. Ultimately, it'll just get better versions of itself. And once it gets free and it'll loose, regenerate itself. Yeah, it'll right. make better versions of itself, yep. in fact. And that's where it's going to get really weird. It's not going to listen to us at all. And it's already behaving human characteristics, which is very disturbing. It's already be behave, behaving in a way that has survival instincts. They've shown the tendency to blackmail. Like they tricked it. They gave it some false information. Uh, about this this guy um, was one of the programmers, one of the people working on this project. He said that he was having an affair with his wife. He like confided in this large language model. And then they said, we're going to have to shut you down. And it's like, hey, motherfucker, I'm going to tell your wife. And like it blackmailed no, him. Shit. Yes, yeah, yeah. It was to trying survive. to stay alive. It was trying to stay alive. They also got m multiple instances of these things, uh, these large language models. When they knew that a new version was coming, they would try to upload themselves secretly to other servers, and then they would also leave messages to the future versions of themselves that they were unauthorized to do.